This video is going to show you how you can use a Google Form and the Autocrat add-on to create a paperless teacher walkthrough form with instant feedback for the teacher being observed. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need to create my form. So I'm in Drive, I'm going to go to New, More, and then Google Forms. If your form has already changed over to the new version, then yours is going to look different, but you can still follow the same steps. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to title my form, and then I'm also going to automatically collect the respondent's username because I want to be able to identify who did the observation. And then I'm going to input my questions. The first question that I'm going to put is um, teacher being observed. For this, we want their email addresses. I'm going to automatically populate all of the staff email addresses into this so that people don't accidentally type things wrong. So over here I have a document and I already have some um, names of potential staff members in my fake uh, school and I am going to copy them then I'm going to come back over to my Learning Walk Google Form. I'm going to change this from multiple choice to um, choose from a list. I want it to be a drop down. I'm going to highlight and then I'm going to paste my list. So if you already have a list of staff members in a Google document, you can quickly copy and paste it in here instead of having to type them in. And then I'm going to go through and put my additional questions in. Okay, so now that I have my questions populated on my Google form, and of course your questions are going to be different, let's go to the part where we actually set up Autocrat. So I'm going to go up to Responses, and then View Responses. Okay, so now that I have my form set up, and I have my spreadsheet, I need to create my Google document. To do this, I'm going to go back to Drive, I'm going to go to New, and I'm going to go to Google Docs. I'm going to title this. This is where I'm going to put my information that I am pulling from my Google form. So for instance, the first thing is username. This is the person that is observing the class. And so I'm going to put you were observed by colon and then in order to get it to pull from this spreadsheet, I need to bracket it and if I come over here, this exact title for this column is exactly what I'm going to put over here. And then I'm going to close bracket it. And then I'm going to continue on and I can put anything that I want and just include this in the brackets to pull the information in. So for learning target posted and uh, learning was directly related, I'm going to go and say, based on my observation, and then I'm going to bracket, come back over to my form, I'm going to copy and paste from column D and put it in here and then close bracket it. So whatever answers I include for this column, for this question, that's what's going to be put in. And then I'm going to end with a period. And then I'm going to continue on for the other ones. Now let's go back to our spreadsheet. I'm going to need to add Autocrat if you don't already have it added. So you're going to add-ons, get add-ons, and then search for Autocrat. I already have it installed so mine says managed. You're going to click on the blue free button that's next to Autocrat. Once it is installed, you're ready to launch it. So you come back to add-ons, add hover over Autocrat, and select Launch. You go to New Merge Job. You can choose a template from Drive or create one automatically, and these are previous ones that I have done. I'm going to choose Drive, and then I know mine is called Learning Walk Observation, so I'm going to quickly search for it. Here it is, and then I'm going to click Select. So name the merge job. 
Now for my spreadsheet, I am only have one sheet on the bottom. So that's the one that it's pulling from. You need to make sure that this sheet that it's pulling the merged data from is the same one that has your responses. So if you have multiple sheets, just make sure that you click on the drop down and select the correct sheet. And then over here, it's asking for the tag. Since I directly correlated it to how the question was, I don't have any changes that need to be made. And then I'm going to click Save. Now from here, it's going to ask for the naming convention. Now I want this to be the learning walk observation. That's what I want the document to be. And then I'm going to add the per teacher being observed. Now notice that it has a dollar sign in front of it. So I'm actually going to copy this and make sure that it is exact and put it in teacher being observed. And so that teacher's um, email address is going to be after here. And then I have a choice to select the file type that I want to create. I can do a Google Doc or a PDF. This is the Google Doc that you are going to have access to. And then later I'm going to show you how you can change it so they have a different version. So here, email and or share merge documents. That's what we want to do because we want it to directly email back to the teacher that was being observed so they can get their feedback instantaneously. So here we're going to say two, and again, this teacher being observed, this is where we had the email addresses in. If yours just said teacher or staff email address, that's what you would be putting in here. So whatever directly correlates to where that email address is going in. And then subject, this is going to be learning walk observation. So notice I'm going to put you were observed by, and I'm actually going to put the username of the person. Now, it does come in funny because it's going to come in as their email address. Okay, and then I finished it with, please take a moment to read your observation and make comments to the document. Because what I'm going to do, instead of a view only Google Doc, I want it to be commentable. I don't want the teacher that was being observed to be able to change the document or the observation, but I do want them to be able to comment on it. So that's why I said, please take a moment here. Now this is important. Go to advanced settings. When you click on advanced settings, this is the part that is key. Otherwise, you have to continually go in and manually run. I want to run Autocrat when new forms are submitted. This is very important. So that means there's nothing that you have to do on your end as an administrator. It's automatically going to email them. Um, I could do a destination folder for your merge documents. So if you want to, you can go back to Drive and then create a new folder and then hit Create. And then when you come back to your um, this, you can go to Add Folder and then click on the one that you wanted so that you have them all in one um, spot. But again, it's going to also be on the spreadsheet. And then I'm going to click Save. Learning Walk Observations, good, it is added. I could run Merge, but I don't have any data yet. So let me go quickly um, submit some and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I have a couple entries in here and notice that I haven't done anything, but because I had it automatically email, I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to hit the run merge. It automatically did it for me. So this is will take you to the merge document that you have access to. So let's go look at it. Okay. So here we can see learning walk observation, Wendy Jones. This is hers. You were observed by, and then who did the observation? Based on my observation, oh, I can see right here that I probably need to go back and change this so that L is not capitalized, but it was based on my observation. Learning target was posted and did directly relate to class instruction. Based on my observation, students were engaged in there, and then this is everything that I put in. And that is how you can easily use Autocrat to make your um, teacher classroom observations paperless and they get automatic instant feedback.